Bill Daly headquarters. And Dana, the Daly dynasty will not get another shot at the mayor's seat, at least for right now. That's right. It doesn't look that way, Erica and Rob. You know, Bill Daly, he had the name recognition for better or worse. He had the money, the most money of any of the mayoral candidates, 8.7 million, 2 million of which came from one donor, a half a million dollars he gave himself. But about 30 minutes ago, he came out and he said, unfortunately, he didn't have the votes to move forward to that runoff in five weeks. And he told his supporters, thank you. And then he conceded. I'm here tonight with an outcome none of us had wanted. But because we respect the democratic process, we all must accept it and we will move on. I congratulate Tony Preckwinkle and Lori Lightfoot on their victories. One of them will have the honor of being the next mayor of Chicago. But that can't stop any of us from continuing the work we began to improve our great city. We still live here, we still pay our taxes, raise our kids, contribute to our communities. And no matter who wins in April, our commitment to Chicago will never end. It was a packed house here, lots of supporters, several hundred of them. Bill Daly went on to say he's proud of the positive campaign that he ran, and he urged his two supporters to put the interests of Chicago first as they moved ahead to the runoff. He also acknowledged his brother, Richard M. Daly, former right. mayor Richard M. Daly, who was here for a very short time, who did not make any speech or say anything, though, to the supporters that were here. One thing I want to add, it is a bit surprising, though, to me at least, that he conceded, being that he's about 6,300 votes behind Tony Preckwinkle, and there are thousands of absentee ballots, et cetera, to count yet, which could make a difference. But at least for now and presumably for the future, Bill Daly tonight did indeed concede. We're reporting live in West Town. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. So, Dana, even yesterday we saw that Lori Lightfoot, Bill Daly, and Preckwinkle were very close. That polling was showing us that. Uh, did that seem to affect the mood even tonight going in before any of the election results were even revealed? No, it really didn't. Uh, the supporters here were very positive, very upbeat, and even when the return started coming in and showed him in third place for all but the very beginning of the night here, supporters still seemed to be very hopeful. So, um, no, it really didn't seem to dampen the moon at all until, of course, he conceded. All right, Dana Kozlov live at Daily Headquarters for us tonight. We're going to head back to Tony Preckwinkle's headquarters where Jim Williams was reporting just moments ago. We believe that the the Cook County Board President is coming out to give her speech.